Hi, thank you everyone for joining our student panel this evening. Uh, my name is Allison. I'm one of the undergraduate admission counselors here at U Sciences. Um, and tonight I also have a few current U Sciences students joining me as well as my colleague Sarah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so the agenda for this evening, I'm going to touch on the impact of COVID and our plans for fall 2021. Next, I'm gonna go over some next steps that you can take as an accepted student. And then we're gonna go into our student panel where you will get to hear from current students and they would love to answer any questions that you have. Um, and you can also are welcome to put any questions that you have in the chat um, and we would love to answer those as well. So in terms of the impact of COVID, I do have to give a shout out to you sciences. We were very quickly able to adapt last year um, we kind of did a hybrid model for our students. So we really focused on the health and safety of all of our students, faculty and staff while still maintaining that excellence in education that our students have come to expect from us. Um, so we were still able to have students living on campus. And as I said, we kind of did a hybrid model. Um, so the larger classes that students are in are virtual and then some of their smaller courses and their labs, which are very important to our science students um, are still in person. Their labs are kind of in a cohort model. So for fall 2021, our plan is to return with a majority of in-person classes. And we're very excited to welcome our students back to campus. Um, however, we're gonna keep everyone updated on our official plan. So I definitely recommend checking out our return to campus guidelines. You can go to usciences.edu slash campus guidelines and we have a COVID task force that will um, update pretty periodically. So definitely check that out for any updates for the fall. And then in terms of next steps, hopefully you have submitted your FAFSA or the free application for federal student aid. And if you have done so, um, hopefully you've also received a financial aid award letter from us. Um, so if you have any questions about your financial aid award letter or want to go over that, you can definitely reach out to your admission counselor. And then I also highly encourage all of you to join our accepted student Facebook group. You can find that at usciences.edu slash accepted 2021. That's a really great way to introduce yourself to other accepted students. And a lot of people will make friends on there and even find a roommate to live with. Um, so definitely check that out if you haven't joined already. And then we also would love for you to attend some of our accepted student events. You can find a full list of those at usciences.edu ASE 2021. And then if you have not submitted your deposit to U Sciences and you want to attend here this fall, you can submit your deposit at usciences.edu slash enroll. You can use the code that is on your acceptance packet. And if for some reason you can't find that code, you can also reach out to your admission counselor and we can provide that for you. And then we're also really excited. We are going to be having some in-person on campus orientation welcome days for all of our students attending this fall. So there are several session options. There will be a session June 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. And you can register for those at usciences.edu slash orientation. And of course, we also hope that you celebrate. Um, so obviously this has been a crazy year to say the least. So the fact that all of you have applied to college and you've been accepted and you've either made your decision or are getting close to making that decision is very exciting. Um, so you should definitely give yourself a kudos and a pat on the back. Um, so next up, we are going to introduce our U Sciences student ambassador. So I'm just gonna go to your guys' introduction slide and if you guys just wanna introduce yourself. Hi everyone, um, my name is Riley. I am a UM biochemistry major here at University of the Sciences. Um, I'm from the Bucks County PA area, specifically like Central Bucks. Um, some of the clubs that I'm in here at U Sciences are the American Chemical Society and a new club that just got approved, um, Craftster Community, where we knit and crochet articles of clothing for the local homeless community. My favorite place on campus is Linda's, the best food truck around. Um, I do work as an admissions ambassador on campus, and I was also recently accepted as an orientation leader. So if you do choose to come to U Sciences, hopefully I get to have you in my group. Um, my future goal is to work um, in the GlaxoSmithKline Smart Lab in research and development. 
Um, and my fun fact is that I am a SEPTA commuter. So if there are any commuter questions, I'd be more than happy to answer those. But yeah, love the train, love the trolley. They get me where I need to go. So yeah. Sorry, I'm having trouble switching to the next slide for some reason. Um, hmm. Sorry, not sure what happened there. I'm gonna go ahead and reshare my screen. I don't know if anyone else on the admissions team would be able to share their screen. I have no idea why my screen is a little frozen right now. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. Yeah, Gary, do you have it pulled up? Yes, give me one second. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay. Now let me get to the right slide. <laughs> oh, I think it looks like you're sharing your uh, desktop. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Zoom's mad at us tonight. <laughs> yeah, so go. sorry, everyone. My computer just completely <laughs> froze. Life and times of, uh, you know, <laughs> virtual events. Can Thanks for hanging Jenna? in there with us. Yes. Yes, we see Jenna now. <laughs> okay, Jenna, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Hi, everyone. My name's Jenna. Um, I'm from Hocus in Delaware, um, and I'm a second year neuroscience major, almost a third year, which is kind of scary. We're almost done the semester. Um, I have lots of interests in terms of, you know, science, because uh, it's a science school, and I'm a science nerd. So I'm interested in like cell bio, psychology, microbiology, data science, lots of other stuff. Um, like I said, pretty, pretty hard nerd. We love nerds here. Um, I'm part of a lot of nerdy clubs as well, such as neuroscience club, microbiology club, but also some fun clubs um, like ultimate Frisbee club, um, badminton club, ecology club, and art club. Um, and my favorite place on campus is outside, which I've been enjoying a lot lately, which is D'Angelo Mall, right outside Griffith. Um, on campus, I work as a youth sciences ambassador and a student researcher. Um, I work in a biology neuroscience lab doing Alzheimer's research. Um, and a fun fact is I own 32 houseplants and one of them is pictured here and his name's Jose. Um, hi, my name's V. I am right from the Philly area, right in Northeast. I'm also a commuter student like Riley. So if, again, if you guys have any questions like that, feel free to ask us about it. Uh, I am currently my third year uh, and my program slash major is medical laboratory sciences. So if you want to hear more about that, feel free to drop, uh, feel free to drop a question in the Q&A. Uh, my favorite place is uh, a building known as IPEX. That's pretty much where all, uh, all our professional programs take place. And they have some of the coolest like uh, simulations and uh, simulation rooms in there. Uh, currently, I am working as a student ambassador, obviously. But uh, other than that, I am also a writing tutor. So if you decide to come here for your first year, you're uh, uh, you're probably more likely than not going to go go to the writing center. Uh, unfortunately, it's my last year as both because I'm about to move on in my hospital year. Uh, my current future goal is to work as a field researcher or a technician uh, underneath the World Health Organization or the Center for Disease Control slash the CDC, which you've probably been hearing about on the news a lot. Uh, and a little fun fact about me is I started playing Dungeons and Dragons. So <laughs> if, you, if you ever uh, need to ask me a question about that, feel free to find me. 
Hi, my name is Sapna. I'm a YouTube biomedical sciences student from Philadelphia. Um, some clubs I'm in right now is admissions ambassador, uh, pre-med society, and I'm a CAB committee member. Um, I'm also a student researcher on campus. So I do uh, experiments on cell biology and looking at kind of like how the role of cells play with different drugs. Um, my favorite place on campus is the quad. I think nature is absolutely beautiful. And especially our quad has like this circular um, tree planting and all of the leaves and petals fall on this floor at the same exact time. And it's absolutely beautiful. And I think it's so nice seeing everyone come outside and just enjoy the weather. Um, yeah, uh, my future goal is med school. So if you have any questions, please email me. Um, it is shown on the screen. And a fun fact, I love long walks. Okay, great. So I'm going to go ahead and take over and ask our student ambassadors some frequently asked questions. My name is Sarah. I'm one of the other admission counselors here in our office. So we can just go ahead and jump into the questions. And if a couple of you want to answer each one, that would be great. So the first question that we have for our student ambassadors here is how was the transition from high school to college? I think for anyone, um, including myself, the transition was definitely a little difficult. Um, just, you know, being in a, such a new environment and you don't really know a lot of people. Um, so, and of course the coursework um, is very challenging here. So adjusting to that was pretty difficult, but I found that if you reach out to resources, like reach out to your professors, go to the writing center for help. Um, and once you find like your circle of friends, it definitely became a lot easier. Pretty much as Jenna said, like the moment you, uh, everyone at Youth Sciences is here to help you out. And like this not only goes for faculty, but like, you know, students attending here as well. Like just getting, establishing like a strong support circle as soon as you can when you get into college, it's, it, it just, your first year becomes like so much more manageable than, uh, than like, uh, what people say when they talk about like college and like the coursework and all that, especially here for you sciences. Oh, thanks guys. Okay, so the next question, um, let's see, all right. So we have, what tips do you have for students to be successful in an online or hybrid course? Did you guys learn any helpful tips over the past year or how have you kind of navigated that situation? Um, I think that, especially with like hybrid and online courses, you're not gonna be like, your professors aren't gonna repeat like assignments that you have to finish. Like there will be something due tomorrow. And if you don't keep checking or if you don't look at your syllabus and make sure your coursework is up to date, like you could miss a deadline. So I feel like one of the most important things is to have like a way to always reference your work. So for me, it's an agenda. But some people don't write handwriting things. So my um, roommate, she'll put it on her notes or she'll put it in a place on her phone so that she has a way to reference things to make sure you don't forget things, especially because right now, again, no one's going to remind you. Um, but I think it is important to have like a group of friends that you guys can always text each other like, hey, don't forget to do this. Um, I think that's a really good idea to make sure you have like a support group in that sense. Yeah, I totally agree with Sapna. Um, I also, I found that setting reminders on my phone was very helpful to remind me to do things. Um, but I also found that, um, especially if you don't have like a super structured day, like if you have like asynchronous courses where you don't have to be somewhere at a specific time, um, I felt that making a sort of like schedule to myself, like that I, you know, even if it's something really simple, like, um, you know, do this at this time every day, so that you have like a set, you, you get into a routine. And even though you're not physically going to class, you still have a sense of like normalcy. Um, and I felt that that really helped me. I would definitely say that, um, like they just said, scheduling is like absolutely so important. You do need to keep yourself organized in the work that you're going to need to do. Um, but also um, in an online setting, you are going to class online, staring at a screen, and then usually going straight to doing your work, again, staring at a screen. So it's very important to build in breaks for yourself and times where you can just unwind and like step away so that you're not sucked into this virtual world. 
for eight hours straight um, because that is not healthy for anyone. So it's definitely just important to keep in mind that you do need to give yourself breaks. You do need to let yourself step away from the screen for a little bit before you like revisit that work that you might have to do. Thanks guys. Okay, so kind of along the same lines, could you guys talk about what it's been like being a student at U Sciences during COVID specifically? Um, as like a third year student, I, you know, I got to have like two years of like being in person and around people and just sort of that sudden like jump from like, you get to be around all your friends, you get to walk around on campus um, is like, then suddenly being told you're gonna you're gonna spend like your th your last year on campus online exclusively, um, it was really hard. It, admittedly, it was really hard news to get um, at first, uh, but sort of over time, uh, as everyone here has talked about, like once you get the ways to cope with like a hectic schedule and a way to, you know, to keep in contact with people, it gets easier. Um, but one thing I can say for sure is like. I'm so happy that you science is hopefully is opening up uh, in per uh, mostly in person by fall because uh, uh, just the huge thing about like being a first year for the first time ever is the fact that you get to have that in person college experience. So I'm hoping when you guys if you guys do decide to come here like you get to have that experience and um, and that you get to, you know, be a college student. Yeah, I definitely agree that being on campus has been, you know, is is great. And I unfortunately am a second year student. I got to experience it a little bit. So like I got a taste of it and I know how good it is. Um, but then it was just like taken away from me. But um, I will say that like they've done a really like good job. Like professors are so like desperately trying to connect with us um, because they know that, I mean, they want to connect with us. They don't they don't like teaching to a screen. Um, but we also, I mean, they know that we're, you know, really stressed and probably disconnected from people. Um, so they really try to make an effort to reach out to you. They always make office hours available. They really want you to come talk to them. Um, so that I think makes it a little bit easier to deal with um, being online. And I think that's something that's really special about you sciences is that the professors like really want to connect with you. Um, even if it's in an online setting. Okay, so next, uh, the next question we have is, how does one get involved on campus? So what ways did you guys find different clubs to join or how did you all kind of end up getting involved on campus? Um, so one thing that I noticed, especially with like everything being online, um, freshman year, when everything was in person, there was like a fair kind of outside in the quad where all of the clubs and organizations kind of um, made little presentation boards and they kind of showed off their club. So you would just walk around. Sometimes they gave little things away like bracelets or scrunchies and you would hear about these things, sign up, sign up with your email and they would email you and you would be in this club and you would just start getting involved. But with COVID, um, this year I wanted to get involved in more clubs. So what I would do is go on the Devil's Advocate app, which is something that U-Sciences has. So that's basically a place where you can find a bunch of organizations that are on campus and you can click to join on them. So you would be put into their email list and you can even see like if you click on it, like who the e-board members are, what the mission of each club is. And it's a good way to see all of the clubs in one screen. Thank you. All right, and then kind of along those same lines, how are you able to manage academics and extracurricular activities? How do you balance the two? Yeah, that can definitely be pretty challenging, especially when there are so many interesting clubs to get involved in. It's like, oh, I wanna do everything. Um, I've definitely felt that. Um, but you know, you do have to remember that your coursework comes first. And although you, you do need to give yourself breaks and times to have fun, like if you have a choice between like studying for an exam and like going to this fun meeting tonight, it's like you you have to make a hard decision. Um, but just remember that like the reason why you're here is for the academics and for the classes and the 
extracurriculars are just that, they're, they're extra. I would definitely also say you do need to know how to um, balance your week out. Um, I'm lucky enough that I do have just a lab on both on, on Tuesday. Um, so I'm able to front load my week. Um, my biology lab uploads everything I need to do um, on Monday. And a few of my other classes upload everything that I need to do on Monday. So Tuesday after I finish that lab period, I'm able to just knock all, that, all, all of that work out. Um, and I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the week, which does free up some time for you. Um, so it's definitely just finding that free space that you can just bang things out um, instead of procrastinating and waiting until the last minute and then basically wasted all of your time and you have no time to do anything. So definitely just learning how to balance your week out, figure out where you can put the work um, and where you can put the fun. Great, thanks guys. Okay, so this one's kind of a two-parter. But the first question is, do you get to choose your roommate if you're living on campus? And then how did you find the roommate? So for those of you who do live on campus, um, how did you sort of figure out your housing situation and your roommate situation? Um, so for me, I was on the Facebook uh, Accept a Student Stay page, which is actually very helpful. I recommend everyone get it or join it. Um, so there's a way to actually put in all your information and like things that you like, things that you don't like on a survey form and you sciences kind of gives that out to everyone who's living on campus and they match you. Or you can find people on the Facebook page and message people and talk to them and then decide if you want to uh, room with them. That's how I found my roommate, which she is amazing. Um, I basically just texted her a few times. I didn't know her, she was a stranger. Uh, I texted her a few times and we kind of knew each other. And then um, we just put our names in the system. So basically if they're, as, as long as the two are agreeable, you are automatically going to get that roommate. And then, yeah, it's pretty simple from there. Yeah, I did a similar thing. I um, reached out to someone um, on the Facebook group and we texted back and forth um, and she ended up being turning into my best friend and we're still best friends to this day. So definitely, I mean, you can you can go random, like Sapna said, you can um, like fill out the form, um, but it is really nice to be able to meet someone before you move in together. Um, so I thought that was really valuable. Yeah, definitely join the Facebook page if any of you haven't already, because I've heard that it's very active this year and lots of people are starting chats and uh, introducing themselves and whatnot. So yeah, that's that's good advice. <laughs> All right, I can start with this one. Um, well, my favorite part about e-sciences, and it is it is hard to kind of recognize right now, but definitely in person, you really feel that um, like small school, like tight-knit community atmosphere. Um, and that was part of why I came to e-sciences, oh, which is probably the next question. So maybe I shouldn't go into that. But um, I really just being able to like connect with your professors, um, having them know you, um, you knowing them and just having like such a friendship, like not just like, oh, scary professor, like, I, I don't know, like it's, it's more of like a friendship and like a colleague. Um, and I think that's really valuable. Yeah, it's always, it's always just sort of been like the small tight knit community that you grow with, like, um, it's, it's weird, like we're united by like, you know, the common want to general want to like work in a like healthcare or research or maybe both uh but everyone has like such different like experiences and like the reasons why they came here and like the different stories that they can tell um and that uh that also goes to the same for like our faculty so it's it's always just been like that small tight-knit community and being able to be a part of it and see it thrive and grow it's always been my favorite part about youth sciences 
Sorry, guys, my computer kicked me off the Zoom call and then put me back on automatically. So I don't know what happened, <laughs> but I'm back. Thank you for answering the question. <laughs> we can go to the next one. Okay, okay, good question. Why did you choose these sciences? Maybe all four of you can answer this one. Um, so I'll, I'll go first. <laughs> uh, when I was coming to all of these orientations, I swear my family was in love with the school and I was not at first. I was like, I don't know what you're seeing. And when I kept coming to these orientations, I, one, fell in love with the campus. It's very small, but it's very like, these are kind of older buildings on the outside, but on the inside, they're so modern. They, I don't know. There's like this like vintage I'm not going to say that but you know what I mean um also uh one of the main reasons I came to these sciences was um you can be published your freshman year as a student whether you do it through an actual course or you do it through your spring semester as a freshman student so specifically I chose it because of phages so I was a part of the phage hunters um laboratory which is basically where you do research you discover a phage from soil you extract these phages, you do DNA, you um, annotate their genomes and you get published for something that you found. And it's actually an insane, amazing program that I think a lot of people should look into because you can get published your freshman year. I think that's a very big deal. And I don't think people recognize that enough. And even if you don't do this course, you can get involved on campus in research as soon as your spring semester and fall in um, freshman year. So I think that not a lot of schools really give this advantage and people should really take advantage of this. Yeah, going along with that, I was gonna talk about research um, because that was definitely one of the reasons why I chose U Sciences because I knew that I was really interested in research um, and I knew that I was probably going to pursue a PhD or some other sort of research career. Um, and when I saw the labs and talking about, you know, like Sapna mentioned, like how early you can get involved in research. Um, I, and I knew that I had talked to people at other schools and they were like, yeah, like it's really competitive. Like you don't really get into like your third year. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, like I don't wanna have to be, have like a cutthroat fight to get into research. Um, so I really like that that's not like it is here. Um, I actually reached out my first semester on campus um, to my research mentor, um, started, doing research my second semester freshman year and I'm still doing research um, and even doing research this summer. So that was definitely, definitely paid off. <laughs> um, the reason why I picked these sciences uh, was um, I attended like an accepted students day, not like this, but in person and uh, I was uh, attending the biology department uh, for their academic session and I quickly fell in love with the university as soon as I saw the sort of um, love and care that um, that the speakers had for their departments and the way that they would talk about their students and their alums like it felt um, as if like, if I attend this university, I'm not going to be like just a number. I'm going to have a strong support system. I'm going to have people who look out for me. Um, and I, and as soon as I came here my freshman year, like that was only proven to be true with all the support and the, um, uh, I care that I received from the faculty and from students around me. So while it is not a requirement, I am personally requiring you to join the Facebook group because that is the reason that I am at U Sciences. Um, I, I, like you just have to get on the Facebook group. I was torn between two very comparable um, like collegiate universities, obviously one being U Sciences. Um, and I really was just not sure what I wanted to do. Uh, and then I joined the Facebook group and um, a lot of us started doing little Zoom calls over the summer before the um, semester started. We started group chats together, um, got each other Snapchats. And on these Zoom calls, I like realized like these are my people. Like they get, they get who I am. We all share the same love for science. We're all very like-minded and you know, you just really get to discover the crowd that you're going to be entering you know, your next four to six years with. Um, 
And that was it. Like I, right then and there, I dropped my deposit. I was like, the, these are my people. I know where I need to be. Um, but other than that, it, another good reason that I came to Youth Sciences was because our um, professors, pretty much every single professor that you're going to have has a PhD in the subject that they are teaching, which not a lot of collegiate universities can say. Um, so you know that when you are learning um, something from a professor here at U Sciences, you are getting a PhD level education. You are being taught by someone who has a depth of understanding in that subject and who also knows what it's like to be in your shoes. If you're planning to obtain a PhD, if you're just going for a bachelor's, these people have those degrees in this field. So they are able to relate to you on a very real level, um, which was also just really great to have. So all in all, join the Facebook group. Thanks guys. So that was all of the pre-prepared questions that we had for all of our student ambassadors here. But if any of you in the webinar currently have any questions, please put them in the Q&A and we will go ahead and answer them. Either Allison or I will answer if it's more admissions related or we can also pass it on to our student panelists if you have any questions about um, student life. So I'll give you guys a chance to type in any questions that you have. I'm glad Riley plugged the, uh, the Facebook group as well. I think that Allison uh, had the link earlier on in the presentation, um, but we should be able to put that in the chat as well. I can go ahead and copy and paste that into the chat here while you guys type out any questions that you have. I absolutely do not hesitate to ask anything if you're wondering about um, AP credit acceptance, if you're wondering about dual enrollment, if you're wondering about campus life, what it's like on the dorms, if you're wondering what our favorite spot on campus is, literally anything, this is the time to ask. We are here for you. Anything that you want to know, campus jobs, stuff like that, please ask away. Like we will literally take questions about like hobbies or anything. And we, I swear to you, none of us bite, at least I don't think none, any of us do, so. Okay, I did put the Facebook link in the chat. So feel free to head over there if you haven't already. It looks like we do have one question here. So they were asking for the biomedical sciences program, how hard are the courses compared to high school AP courses? Um, this student is going for pre-PA. Um, so I don't know if any of you know anyone in biomedical sciences or the PA program, if you have any yeah. advice or, yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I, even though I wasn't, I'm not in the PA program, uh, I, uh, uh, I have plenty of friends who do, um, but it, from what I understand, at least, um, I took, I took AP bio for my, uh, from when I was in high school, then I took, uh, intro to biology here as part of my major requirement. I would, but I also know, uh, I would say like, it kind of depends on on what it is for me like ap bio was a lot harder than than intro to bio here um but i think it's mostly because like i um when i was taking ap bio that subject was new but when it came here to use sciences um i it certainly um it certainly helped me a lot <laughs> with intro to bio having that background knowledge i also remember that um one of my friends who's also in the same program as me uh he also told me that gen chem like ap uh, ap chem was a lot harder than gen uh, gen chem here and gen chem here is not a breeze so if you can get through ap chem just fine you'll you're so you'll certainly do fine in our gen chem as well uh as for the three plus two program for the pa program 
uh, having uh, it's strongly recommended that even though if you take uh, any AP courses here that specifically relate to the PA program, so we're looking at stuff like intro to bio, we're looking at stuff like Gen Chem, you should consider retaking these courses here because it's going to help you immensely for that, like, uh, especially when you progress from that first year to that second year to that third year and then finally to your PA program, it's going to help you out a lot. So. Uh, strongly would recommend if you took those AP courses, retake them here through Youth Sciences. Thanks. That's that's super helpful. <laughs> also, if anyone else in attendance um, has any questions about AP credits or dual enrollment credits, I also have the links for. We have different transfer credit tools on our website, so if you'd like to check that out too. Let me know and I can pass those links along to you because we have a lot of different AP and transfer credits that we'll accept as well. Does anyone else have any other questions? I'll give everyone a second to type out any questions they have in the Q&A. I'm also going to put the admissions email into the chat as well. So if any of you think of any questions later on, feel free to send a message to the admissions email or to connect with your counselors. We're up on the screen now. So um, since you all are accepted students, you've probably heard a lot from your counselors already, but feel free to send us a text message or an email. Um, if you're not sure who your admissions counselor is, you can just email admit at usciences.edu, which I just put in chat too, and we'll send your message on to whoever the right person to answer your question is. So feel free to just reach out to our main office email too. Oh, we do have one more question. Okay, so one of our students asked, how is the medical humanities program? So I know, I don't think any of you are in the medical humanities program, but do you know anyone who's in it or have you taken any classes? Yeah, uh, Yeah, I actually, um, uh, she graduated by now. Uh, she, uh, and is currently attending medical school, but um, I, I know somebody who dual enrolled into the medical humanities program. Um, she she was by uh, she was by far like a re like really talented writer and she also uh, was present at the writing center and that's how I met her. Um, I can't speak for the program itself. All I know is that um, when she was applying to uh, medical school, uh, she was asked a lot of questions about medical humanities and the stuff that she did. Uh, the writing that she did sort of um, when when you when you come here as a I, I think they changed the syllabus by now but she won uh, the student contest of uh, writing like uh, the student writing contest that we hold here in the fall and she was asked constantly about like her program and the um, and that sort of little project I think she was also asked a lot of questions for her capstone project which is what you're expected to do uh, through the medical humanities. So if you're looking into medical humanities, I know that we're a strongly science oriented school. Um, I would really recommend having it just because you get to stand out from the crowd because not a lot of people get to know what medical humanities is about. And, uh, and if you're somebody who is interested in writing, really recommend taking a look at it. Yeah, I definitely agree. I've taken um, a a bunch of, I think like maybe three humanities courses. And right now I'm taking one with um, the, I guess, advisor or like top guy of the, top guy, top guy of the um, medical humanities minor. Um, and I can just, 
I can vouch for the quality of our humanities professors. I was kind of, I didn't really expect that because we're a science school. And so I was like, you know, why would we have good humanities professors? But like, they're awesome. And like, they contribute to the field and it's like, so incredible, like asking questions that I would never even like, think to ask really important questions that like, have to do with, you know, inequality and like, you know, disparities in healthcare and like really important problems. Um, and so I would definitely really recommend the program. That's great. Yeah, I was going to say too, just from an admissions perspective, I know that the medical humanities program is something that's pretty unique to you sciences. So what V was saying is definitely true. It definitely makes your application for grad schools or med school or anything like that pretty unique just because not a lot of schools are going to be offering that. So, you know, if you're amongst a lot of biology majors, for example, who are applying, that it's going to make your application look pretty unique. Not that there's anything wrong with being a bio major. <laughs> Plenty of our bio majors go to med school too, but yeah, something to keep in mind. That's a good question though. Anything else? give everybody a minute to type out any questions that they have. All right, I'm not seeing anything in the Q&A right now, but again, if you guys think of any questions that you have in the future, feel free to reach out to your admissions counselor or reach out to our office, and we are more than happy to help. We're also more than willing to put you in touch with some of our student ambassadors. Again, if you want to talk to a current student about anything more specific, um, we can certainly reach out to any of the ambassadors here. So. All right, so I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the webinar for tonight. But again, thank you everybody for joining us. I hope that this gave you a better idea of what student life is like at U-Sciences and gave you some more answers to your questions. Again, feel free to reach out to us in the future um, if there's anything that we didn't talk about or anything that we did talk about and you wanna learn more about. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for joining us and have a great rest of your night.